Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. So in the previous video we worked with uh, file uploads. In this video now I want to show you how we can send emails using Laravel. And for that I'm going to use this uh, mailtrap.io for testing. So you can go and create a new uh, account, it's free. And then when you create the account you can go to start testing and my inbox. And here on this drop down we have also the Laravel plus 9 so click there and we need to copy this and put on the .env file in our project so let's open the .env file and here we have the mail so copy uh, replace the mailer host port username and password with that save and close now we are okay let's uh, open the terminal and I'm going to create new Laravel mail we can use the PHP artisan for that. So let's say artisan make colon the mail and the name of the mail. I'm going to name it post mail because I want to send the mail when we create a new post. Hit enter and now inside the app mail created successfully also. So let's open that inside the app mail the post mail created. Good. We have here some method so the construct method create a new message instance uh, envelope subject post mail we have the content is going to return the view we have view name here so we need to create the view name and also the attachments first let's start with the view inside the resources views i'm going to create a new view a new blade which is going to be inside the emails and i'm going to name it the uh, post mail dot blade dot php and here i'm going to add div and inside the div of h1 and say uh, this is from post mail okay save that close and now on the post mail class here we need to point that view okay which is inside the emails Let's say emails dot post dash mail. Okay, we named that post mail, so we are okay. Also, let's change the subject here. So I'm going to say email from uh, Laravel tutorial, like this. Let's save and let's start and work that how we can send mail using this post mail let's open the post controller and here when we store the new post so we validate the data we create a new post using the auth user then i'm going to use the mail facade from laravel and yeah say to auth user mail we can use this one and then we chain the send method and in this send method we pass new post mail object and the post mail we call that we pass parenthesis here okay and just make sure you have imported the facade the mail facade and let's leave it like this now just because i want you to see that let's say uh tony and then test mail here i'm going to save and let's see right now we i don't have any email on this one so let's go and first i'm going to register okay then i'm going to create a new post use a fake filler here choose a, we need to choose a new file because we make that required and if i store yeah the email post mail plate not found and why is that we have emails ah yeah we need to make this a blade so just let me rename that blade like this now this is a blade so yeah, it's creating two of them, but if I click here, we have the email from Laravel tutorial, and this is 
from post mail, which is okay, good. But how uh, we can work with data? So for example, on the post controller, the this mail, I want to send also the title of this post or the name of the user. So for that, I'm going to add an array in this one and say uh, name. And I'm going to use Tony, for example, and the title. I'm going to use the validated title. Okay. Now we need to, as we can see, we have the errors, too many arguments. The function construct, one provided but zero accepted. So let's go to post mail on the construct. And now let's say public. array dollar sign data now because we added on the construct this dollar sign data we can access that data on the blade on this post mail blade so let's go to post mail blade and here instead of this is from a post mail i'm going to say uh thank you or thanks for your post and I'm going to display the name we put from the controller. Okay, we added the name here. So let's say, uh, sorry, dollar sign the data because we put as an array and on the post mail we use that as a data. Now we can say dollar sign data and on the array I'm going to specify I want to grab the name. And then on the paragraph, I'm going to say uh, your post title is, and here I'm going to display the title using the data array and here specifying I want to get the title from there, from that array. Okay, now let's see. So this is post email, and we are going to change that. And let's go and create a new post. So I'm going to say this is my post. So as a title, let's choose the email, the image and let's say store. As you can see, it's going to take some time. Now the post created. Click here, the email from Laravel tutorial. And thanks for your post, Tony, because we added on the post controller, a name to be Tony, and your post title is This is my post. Okay, this is how we can work with the data passing on the controller to this post mail. Okay, but instead of this uh, post mail, we can uh, generate uh, and use Markdown on Laravel. So let's come here and create and with Let's first delete this post mail. And let's open the terminal and create a new post mail. But now I'm going to add also the markdown dash dash markdown flag. And this is going to be inside the emails. And I'm going to name it a post. Hit enter. The mail is created, as you can see, is here. But now we have this post blade inside the emails, which is a markdown. As you can see, we have this x dash mail message, and then we have a button also here. I'm going to remove the button. We have this thanks, uh, passing the app name, but I'm going to say thanks, Laravel tutorial and here which is going to be the h1 because we have only one hashtag I'm going to say thank you for the post and displaying the name which is data name and in here I'm going to say the same things, your post 
title is passing the data title. Okay, but that this is going to be on markdown as you can see here. And now on, if we go to post mail, because we created with uh, dash dash markdown, this is going to point to that mails emails dot post. So we are okay. Now let's change the subject to be you can add what you like. I'm going to say email from Laravel tutorial. And here we need to receive that. So public array data. Okay. And then on the post controller, we are okay because we sent here. Now, instead of Pony test, let's use the user email. So let's say auth user email. Okay, then send passing the name and the title, and we are okay. Let's try. So right now we have something like this. Let's go and create a new post. Choose the image here. And let's say store. Okay, the post created. Now let's see here we have a new email and email from Laravel tutorial. As you see, this is the user email. And then yeah, now we have more nice uh, email, as you can see. We have also the Laravel logo. Thanks, for you. Thanks you for the post, Tony. And then your post title is uh, this title. And thanks, Laravel tutorial. So if I go here, this is the title, as you can see. Okay, friends, that's it all about this video. How to send mails using Laravel and for testing, we are, in, we are using this mailtrap.io. Now, if you like such a videos, friends, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.